congratulations. And I, I mean, obviously, I don't think, and I think most of Bear Nation doesn't think that co- Dr. T could have found a better candidate looking for six months or a year. Well, this 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 is my this is my dream. I've been here for for a long time now. Obviously, as a former player, someone that uh, has, has has a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this program, a lot of commitment made to it. Um, you know, this is a place of destination for me. This is a place where um, I think we've got great things ahead. Um, we've, we're as deep and as talented as we've been um, and, and probably ever at the University of Central Arkansas, and there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to take this to the next level, and, and that, that's our goal, you know, starting tonight when we, we start fielding the staff, baby. When you uh, when you finished your career here and, and started out as a coach, did you envision this day coming at some point? You, you're going to laugh when I say this, but I did. Um, you know, I spent five years as a player here, and uh, you know, obviously had a, had a had a pretty good career here, and had an opportunity with uh, you know to, to take a little dip in the in the, in the NFL and, and 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 test my water there. Didn't work out. Got the chance to come back at an early age and be, you know, get into coaching. And and, and this place is uh, this place is special to me. Conway, Arkansas, the Central Arkansas community. Um, the state of Arkansas. This is this is what it's about. I mean, you look at you look up in these stands, and this is a packed house in, in the Ferris Center, and, and and this is what it's like every Saturday night in Estes Stadium. So, uh, couldn't be more pleased. I'm tickled to death, and, and you know, I I really haven't stopped smiling since uh, since since this afternoon. I, you know, you and I talked right after uh, it was made public that Coach Campbell was moving on to South Alabama, and you said you wanted to be selected not because you were the convenient choice, but because you were the right man for the job. What did you feel like? What do you feel like you bring, and what have you learned in your coaching career that makes you feel like you're ready to take this next step? Well, I think the number one thing is that I've got Central Arkansas at heart. Um, I think I want what's best for this program, not just because I'm a coach here, but because I'm invested here. I've spent a lot of time here. This is my alma mater. This is uh, this is my community, and uh, that, that's the way I'm going to represent it. And you know, it it, it it didn't come down to convenience for me. I, I didn't want Dr. T to ever consider me out of convenience, or this is this is what. Um, the easiest thing to do is I wanted to make his job easy when I went in and visited with him and, and got a chance to talk to him and and uh, I think I was able to do that and he wanted to make it happen quick and and uh, you know it's a blessing man I've been blessed at a young age in this in this profession to be at one place um, and then get an opportunity to lead this program and and uh, that's that's rare in this profession and man I'm just I'm just a, I'm just a blessed head coach right now and um, I mean, I, I, I got to pinch myself, uh, you know, to, to, to ride off this high. But I know the honeymoon's short. We're going to get to work fast. And, uh, you know, we got a good team coming back. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm planning on adding a lot of good good, good pieces to it on, on uh, December 20th. Yeah, you, uh, you know, transitioning into the head coach's chair as opposed to being, the, you know, the coordinator, uh, I think it makes everybody feel a little bit better about Coach Campbell's departure. The program certainly is seeing, you know, the highest of highs here. And, and unfortunately, we saw, a, you know, a tough spot in that loss to New Hampshire, but uh, what did you learn working with Coach Campbell the last few years? I, I think, you know, from the, from my position, the, the recruiting and, and some of the talent that's been brought in has been critical to some of the success. What, what else have you taken away from Coach Campbell's time? Well, with, you know, he is? four years ago when, when, when Coach Conk made the move uh, to leave to go to Stephen F. Austin, I sat in Dr. Teague's office, and he said, man, I want you to stay here. I'm going to bring a great guy for you. I told him my vision. I told him I want to be the, be the next head coach here whenever this decision comes back again. And, and I, you know, I followed Dr. Teague's, tutor, you know, his tutoring as far as that goes. He said he was going to bring in a great coach, and 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 I was blessed enough to get a chance to coach under Steve Campbell for four years. You know, you talk about a guy that, that, that that's is, is if there's a term that 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 you use, it'd be ball coach. And and he loved the kids. He was a positive mentor for them. He was a positive mentor for me. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've talked to him in the last two days. Even just, hey man, you got it. You may, you know, I, I want to make sure you're taken care of. You know, you know, you, you're a no-brainer, and, and he just cares. And 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 the players fed off that, and we were able to, uh, you know, we were able to, you know, expand our recruiting footprint a little bit more into his neck of the woods, more pushing a little more into the southeastern part of the nation, and and we're going to continue to expand that. And. Uh, and you know we're as we're as deep and as talented as we've ever been here, and that's a, that that is a direct uh, compliment and reflection of Steve Campbell and what he did for four years here. Uh, he'll he'll never be replaced, um, but but I you know I hope I do a great job of of, of you know taking up, taking on what he has done for the last four years and keeping this ball rolling. And yeah, there's certainly you know obviously different kinds of pressures that come with being the head coach. I, I know that nobody you know puts more pressure on themselves than you do, so I'm not too yeah. worried about that side of things. Um, what are some of the challenges for you now as you move over? And, and the question you'll get a lot is, who's going to call the plays now? How are you going to how are you going to balance that as the head coach? Well, the first problem I'm going to have is I'm going to have to call you know watch a football game from the sideline. I mean, I, I've 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 coached you know a ten year coaching career and I've sat in the booth every game, so that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment for me. Something I'm excited about. You know, I get a little bit more feel of the game. Uh, you know, get a chance to you know see the guys' eyes and and, and play that part of the game, but. 
uh, I can promise you we're going to put together a staff, whether it be an uh, offense, defensive coordinator. Um, we've got some. We've got a. Great, we've had a great staff for the last two years, and and uh, we're going to make sure that that stays intact. Um, the guys that are here, we're going to. You know, there may be some shuffling around as far as positions goes, um, but but we're going to take care of it. And those are that's a, we got a good group of coaches, and then we're going to we're going to bring in as, as the top talent coaches we can, we can find, and uh, and it's going to be a team effort. It's not just me. Um, you know, I'm going to be a I'm going to be an open open head coach with my staff, and it, it's it's about what we can do because I'm a true believer that as a head coach, you're only as good as your assistant coaches. So we're going to we're going to go about it the right way, and we're going to try to bring in the best guys, and we're we're, we're going to be ready to go. Congratulations! I'm so excited for you. As you know, uh, I will miss seeing you after games, and you coming in and give me the <laughs> pat on the backside as we celebrate victories. But I'll just come down to the sideline and check in with you after we win some games this next fall. Hey, man, I, you, you know what you mean to us, Justin. There, everything you've done for us and this 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 university, you know. Um, you know, we're an open book and we're an open door there at, at, with the football program. So we look forward to seeing UCA fans and uh, you know anybody that want you know anybody that might be a casual fan, come come check us out. You know, we we're going to have an open door policy to everyone, and I, you know we got a special thing going here, and I want people to know about it. Ain't no doubt about it. Tell us he'll be here before you know it, Coach. Hey, I, the honeymoon's already over. Yeah. I can promise you that. <laughs> I guarantee you. Congratulations. We'll be talking a lot soon. All right, man. Thanks, yeah. Justin. Looking forward to bringing you the Nathan Brown Show. Hey, let's go, from man. From Cafe 501 next fall. I'm it's going to be fun. I'm It'll ready. Be exciting. I'm All ready. right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.